Lachlan Morton. Started out as a road professional, seventh and tour of California, best young rider, and now he's completely opened himself up to a wide range of disciplines in cycling. Safe to say that Lachlan's ridden a lot of different types of bikes, and this week he's got something pretty special. Um, a lot of different types of races and a lot of different uh, types of bikes as well. And uh, we see here you're riding something quite special. This is uh, something that we haven't seen on the trails at the Apsa Cape Epic or even on the mountain biking scene. And it's the, um, it's the Cannondale Scalpel, but there's something special about this particular one. Yeah, yeah, this is the Lab 71, uh, which is the new carbon layout. Um, so it's lighter, um, it's similar Everything else is the same in terms of geometry and, and the setup of the bike. Um, just the carbon is, is brand new. Can you feel the difference between this and the previous one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, anytime you can get a bit of weight off the bike, there's a bit of extra spring in the step. Uh, so, yeah, it's like a, it's a nice little upgrade. Now, we've had rumors that, you, um, that you, you like to get your bike as light as possible and you've foregone the power meter. Yeah. It's, uh, people are often obsessed with numbers in this game and it um, looks like you've opted out of, that, uh, out of that, whole, that whole thing. Yeah, I mean, when, when I get into racing, you kind of, you've got what you've got, you know. Um, like power numbers are nice for training and I prefer to race on feel. Um, I know how to, how to hurt myself. I don't need a number to tell me how much I'm hurting. So yeah. I'd, skip the power meter for the race day. I just had my hand on this uh, box over here. It's still wet. <laughs> yeah. And this bike is super clean. I think today it was, it looked like the dirtiest day, one of the dirtiest days we've seen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely filthy. Um, lucky Tom Hopper, my mechanic, he, uh, he's got this thing back to brand new, which, um, yeah, unbelievable if you saw the state of this two hours ago. <laughs> Amazing. And you're running the, uh, the brand new SRAM drivetrain. And this is um, with the direct mount derailleur. Looks like got a nice little uh, detail on the um, on the battery there. How do you find this uh, this drivetrain compared to the last one? Uh, it's a game changer. Um, I'm always like kind of skeptical when people talk about like big upgrades, and um, but this is actually yeah, it, it's totally new and different, uh, and I'm pretty amazed at the performance, um, especially like under load. Uh, they've done a lot of really cool things uh, and also just the, the fact it's so robust um, in a race like this. Uh, it's already had a couple of whacks and it stays true so yeah I'm very happy with it. One thing that I think a lot of our viewers would like to know is what do you prepare specially for a race like this? What do you have that's, uh, that's particular? Uh, I mean, looking at your storage you've got uh, obviously two bottles that's pretty standard. What do you keep in the very wet saddle or top tube bag. Yeah, I've got like a little tail fin bag here that I always use. Um, I run two CO2s in here. Uh, I have like darts and plugs, just depending on what you need. Uh, it's good to have a couple options depending on the hole. Uh, and then a, a small multi-tool as well as a tube. Uh, and then I also put the, the GPS tracking unit that we need to carry uh, in here. So basically I have everything I need here. Um, it just kind of simplifies things. In it. It's in a nice spot on the bike. You're not like reaching around for things. So yeah, it's a good setup. So Lachlan, you're very much part of the, uh, the, EF, um, the EF program and um, it's a, a very diverse program and they let you uh, choose your own, um, more or less choose your own races. Um, it looks like this is almost pretty much team spec. So yeah. can we just start with the, um, with the bars? How wide are the bars? I run uh, 70 mil bars, uh, 70 centimeter bars, 700 mil. And the stem looks um, very, it looks very roady to me. Yeah, it's a 120, uh, negative 20. So it's pretty aggressive. Um, I've tried a lot of different setups, uh, but I ended up coming back to this. I think it's something that I'm familiar with. Uh, you know, I still have some roady habits. So, um, it's, it's also nice when it, it flattens out and you get on those big open roads, you can kind of get down a bit lower. Um, yeah. So one of the things uh, Lachlan, we've seen on, um, on some of the other bikes and some of the South African riders bikes is this uh, new mount system. Uh, it uh, looks very interesting. 
tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, this is like pretty much new for this race. We haven't used it before. Um, it's a South African brand. And yeah, we're lucky enough to get a hold of one to try. And it's really nice because it just cleans up the whole cockpit. There's no zip ties. Uh, and you can also still get your hands in behind here, um, which I like. And I also run the, like the profile on the back of the number so you can kind of control the tilt a bit um, so I can see where I'm at. Lachlan, you said you were a, a bit of a weight weenie. You admitted it yourself. You've confessed. Now you have to guess what your bike weighs. Epic ready. Uh, epic ready with everything. 11 kilos. Let's put it to the test. 11.78 kilograms.